Well, good morning. Welcome to my September update. Hi, my name is Helga Kali Q on Instagram, Alpha Ray, Facebook, Twitter. I'm the same name on all the things. I am here from Northern California where it has finally cooled down. It has been so hot here last week. And then this week it's been nice and fall normal. Yay. Everybody says it, but fall is my favorite. I just love when it cools down. I love the smell of spices. I love the smell of pumpkin. I don't like pumpkin spice lattes. I think they're just pure sugar gross. So, Drew, I'm with you. Um, But I love apple cider. I love... The coziness, I love, I'm a knitter, so I love to like be able to wear my hand knits that I've spent so much energy on because I get to wear them for like three months around here and then it is over and done with. However, super exciting, thanks to the record breaking heat wave of last week on my weather sampler, um, which I'm not going to show you today because I haven't touched it, um, I actually get to stitch every color that the chart was created for, which is super exciting um, because I had figured I would get to get to like the 9900. This isn't really, you know, Sonoma County, California. We have a fog because um, we're on the coast and so it doesn't get super crazy hot here, but it got super crazy hot here last weekend. Like, I want to say the our phones were saying 116, and then when I went to Weather Underground, they said 114. So we'll we'll split the difference. We'll call it 114. I'm fine with that. Um, and so I get to use every color that this chart is created for because it went up to 112. Um, McKenna, is it 112 where you are? I'm sorry, that's yucky. Uh, I assume everybody there has air conditioning though. So we don't have air conditioning because it doesn't get that hot here, but you know, we know how to turn on the sprinkler and turn on the fan and kind of create that fake cooling effect. Spent a lot of time at the pool. We have a pool. We live in an HOA. Our pool is right out the back gate. We spent a lot of time at the pool. Um, we ate dinner outside. We did puzzles. We didn't turn on the phones. We didn't turn on the TV. We didn't turn on our phones. We turn on our phones. We kept all the electronics in the house off, though, to keep the house cool. And we did puzzles and... Um, I can't stitch in the dark, so didn't do a ton of stitching this weekend. I have a new start, though, that I did do um, that I'll show later. But it was just hot, hot, hot. And so, like I said, I'm excited. I get to use every single color in my weather sampler, but I'm not sure I want to deal with that again. I'm just drinking water. Nothing fancy. It's a pineapple... Uh, Last that my good friend gave me. Um, just one of my best friends. I say that a lot. I've said it before. Best friend is a tear, not a title. Um, and this woman, our boys have been really close since preschool. And I love her to pieces. Um, she has a little girl. She's my. I adopted her. She's mine. Um, so little girl, I get to spoil, right? I get to make her quilts. I get to make her pretty tutus. Um, I have a children's book called Phoebe's Sweater, where it's a storybook and then it has a sweater pattern. I'm planning to do that for her. Um, little girl's just super cute. She's my little princess. So since my sister had boys and my sister-in-law's girls are more rough and tumble girls, not really girly girls, this will be my girly girl. I mean, every time I see her, she's in a dress or a tutu. Her ears are already pierced. Um, that's their culture. Um, and she's just beautiful. Always in pink, super porcelain, and I just adore her. Um, so, yeah. So, this is uh, this is from Janelle. And it's a pineapple. And it has a lid, but the lid's annoying me because it's tickling me, so I'm not using it. And whoever said drink water before coffee, I hate you. But I've had a headache all week, so that's what I'm doing. That my husband's not up to make me coffee yet. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, 
everybody's been doing whip parades and I don't think I'm going to do a whip parade because I came back to floss tube in summer and I showed you everything I had in progress. But aside from watching my own video every other day to remember what I have, it wasn't a sustainable way to keep track. And so what I did, inspired by Stitchy Mommy, Sarah, posting, she made a spreadsheet and it had, what did it have? It had an image, it had the pattern, it had the, the people, blah, blah, blah. It was beautiful. And it was multiple pages. It was nice and organized. And I'm a one sheet kind of gal. So thank you, Sarah, for the inspiration. And let me take it out of the page protector so you can see. Oh, I can't take it. Crud. All right. Well, we're going to, let me do this and then I'll, I'll show Oh, I just try. Sorry. This Scentsy. Do any of you watch Kellyanne? Kellyanne Langley sells Scentsy. And she introduced me to it. And so right now I have a, I think it's actually pineapple in the top right now. It's not, it, I just turned it on. So it's not quite melty yet. And it has a lamp. But it looks like a mason jar. And it just says, remember... And then a bunch of words I can't read because they're squished. I love this as like a cozy thing. I love it as a nightlight. And I just love it because it's beautiful. So check her out. I don't know if she's ever talked about her business, on, but she, her, her side hustle. I keep hearing that phrase and it's cracking me up. So it's called Scentsy. They're the melty cubes and you put them in the light and you know, to make everything yummy. We have this one. We have a milk churn in our bedroom, and then we have a pineapple in the downstairs bathroom. So we have three, um, but I love them. And I like them because it's a very soft scent. So we use essential oils, and you put them in the diffuser, and you turn it on, and the scent is super strong. That's fine once in a while, but sometimes you just want like that constant, low-key smell. That's what this is for. And I live with boys, so this is... I'm, well, the dog's a girl, but... I'm the only girl in this house. This is always on. And it's starting to warm up, so you can, there's a little bit of heat. So don't be touching it, because it is hot, and there's wax, and it melts, and stuff. So it's not really a kid thing, but my kid's old enough that he knows better. And then you've seen this before, but I framed my beekeeper. And then I always try and have flowers. And these are straw flowers. I don't know if you know what straw flowers are, but they're something I grew up with. And this is what I just kind of, this is right by, our TV is here. There's a window here. This is my stitchy spot. There's a window here. There's a lamp here, a lamp here, an ot light, which is currently moved across the room so I could film because otherwise you'd have a ot light. The mirror to reflect the light. And then I have a table and a basket and my footstool. So this is my stitchy spot when I don't want to watch TV. Um, because then my son can be watching TV. My husband can be doing a puzzle and I can be stitching or watching you guys on my computer. So that's a nice, this is how we kind of share the living space. So the boys will be watching like Food Network. I'm usually watching Floss Tube with headphones and I'm in the room and they can't say I'm not spending time with them. But I need lots of light, right? So all my lights here, because when I was on that wall, the complaint was that my lights reflected on the television, which is right. But I have flowers all around. We have flowers here. We have flowers on the bookshelf over there. We have flowers on our, I call it a mantle. We covered our fireplace up because it's gas. So we have a chest in front of it. And then we have a glass table that has like plants and pictures and stuff and candles. I like candles. So yeah, welcome to my stitchy spot. So, where were we? Whips. So what I did is I did an at a glance. So I have a picture of the designer or of the design. What I call the project, so some of these have funny names because it's what I call them. And it's not focusing. Can you see that? That's Fridge Love. Also, it's probably backwards for you, but it's backwards for me, which means it should be right ways for you, right? If it's not, I'm sorry. I don't know how to flip it, and I'm not going to try. So these are all the things I've started. And then see all those blanks? I don't like when things are bad. So, one, two, three, four. I have to fill the sheet. Because I get four more starts. Yep. That's how my logic works. So, what I do 
And what I'm planning to do, what I had to write the first time, is I'm going to keep this in a page protector. And then I'm going to use what's called highlighter tape. And if you don't know what it is, Google it. It's like a roll of tape that is highlighter colored, like you know, the markers. And you can write right on the tape. And it's, I sell it at Office Depot. It's not expensive. Or Staples or Target. I don't know if Target carries it. I don't know. It's, I've actually gotten mine from the pumpkins because um, Amanda keeps it in the shop and I love it. And she has other colors. I think she's had purple, pink, and yellow. But I've got it. I love it. I use the pink the most because it's the easiest to see through, in my opinion. And so what I did is I just took my highlighter tape and I marked what I'm planning to work on this month with the highlighter tape. Um, I have not yet added my new starts because they happened this week and I'm in front of my computer today. So when next you see this, it will be two full sheets of paper. And I like that. So I'm going to fill my two sheets and then I'm going to say that thing that never goes true. And I'm not going to add any more whips until all my whips are done. Yeah, right. Let's pretend that's the plan. So yeah, so you want to see what I started? Or you want to see what I worked on first? Let's start with what I worked on. Um, I introduced myself, right? And told you what month we're in and all that good jazz. Still Helga, it's still September. I think it's the 9th. Um, Saturday morning, 6.30, 7 a.m. My family's still in bed. I have no idea what I already said. First thing I worked on is a monochrome project. Monochrome means one color. Most people know that, but some people don't. So not judging, just defining. And I'm working on the monochrome rooster, which is by X Stitch Cross Stitch Designs. So it looks like that. I could insert a picture, but I won't. I probably should. I'm sorry. I'm being rude. Yeah, I'm not going to insert a picture this week. Sorry, guys. Maybe next time. And so that's it. I haven't done much. But my plan is finish a page, right? That's it. Small goals. So right now I'm just trying to finish this column. And then I'm going to take my highlighter tape, scooch it over and finish this column. And scooch it over and finish this column. And you get the idea. And then somebody was talking about stitching upside down and backwards. I don't know who it was, but they were talking about how they stitch upside down because they like to stitch down, 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 up, 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 scooch, down, 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 up, 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 up. So I'm going to attempt that. So I'm going to attempt to go zoom, 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 and then flip it and then go one, two, three, four, five. That's my plan. Plans are made to be broken, but that's what I'm currently considering. So that's where I'm at. Not a ton, a ton, a ton of progress. Um... But I work out with my kids at martial arts. It's one color. I keep it in my Aloha bag, which was given to me when I got my tickets to my adventure for next year. My big sister is taking me to Maui. Oops. Bit away. That's us remind me I'm going to Maui. Um, I'm doing it in DMC 930, which is just a really pretty colonial blue. My lighting is crap. I don't know. It's just a colonial blue. I'm going to attempt something. Please hold. Okay. I don't know if that helped, but I turned on the light above the staircase, so I'll try and get some overnight light as well. Overnight light? Overhead light as well. So I'm going to try this again. So it's a colonial blue. It's DMC 930. And I'm a Flossway bag user, so I just keep the color in a Flossway bag. And then I have a of it. So I have two skins of this. I probably need more, but I have two. Um, I've already used up what was left over in another one. And I just keep that, a pair of scissors, and my needles in this little Aloha bag. And that's what I take in my car for my son for martial arts. Um, I had jury duty this week. That was an interesting experience. I don't know if you've ever done it, but I did not enjoy it. But you can't have your cross stitch and you can't have your knitting. Um, well, you can have your knitting, but you can only have your knitting in one room, but not the next room. But you can't have scissors. You can't have lots of rules. So 
little to no crafting happened there. I didn't read either. I was so anxious. I didn't do anything. So I kind of sort of worked on it, but not really. Next thing I worked on, I didn't actually work on yet. I'm planning to work on it today. One of my best friends is moving away to Maryland. She leaves in October. And so I am working on the Pride and Prejudice Blessing by Lindy Stitches, Stephanie. Pretty sure everybody has seen it before. And um, this one's neat because it's it's stitching and black work, right? So, or what do they call it? Back stitch. I don't know what I'm saying. And so again, I just picked a page, kind of sort of the middle-ish. And that's what I did so far. And so what I'm doing is I've just finished the word every. And so then I'm going to try and finish the word for, and then I'm going to put a, and then I want Pemberley, and then I want to get all the writing done first. And then I'll go from there. But she leaves, her going away party is October 1st, and I'm really trying to have this for the party. Um, and I subbed a bunch of colors just to make it a little bit brighter. Um, I find it funny that I felt the need to brighten up a pattern by Lindy Stitches because I think that one of the things that really draws me to her is how bright they are. So I'm thinking I went brighter because it's what I had in my stash, not because I didn't like the colors. Because I love this to the point where I plan to make it for us as well. Um, and I have a really pretty white frame already purchased for it. Uh, I'll just frame it myself. And uh, so all I have so far is Collins Every Charlotte. And I'm planning to work on that today. And I just keep, I have, these are from Staples, and they're just plastic envelopes. And they're kind of when I put my moss stuff in. Um, and this is just my favorite this one. And the only thing that makes it Pride and Prejudice is the piece of masking tape in the corner that says PNP. That's it. Next thing I worked on, everybody by now has discovered Chris and Kay. Chris is Mortuary Stitches Jay's son, and the guy is a hoot. And Chris has joined FlossTube with his beautiful wife, Kay, and they are churning out patterns like nobody's business. And they posted a pattern that I, I'm not kidding you guys, I saw it and I was like, I have to have that. And immediately, I have to have it, and I have to make it my own. So I'm planning to make this an Alice in Wonderland twist, because hello, it's me. Um, and as simple as she gets a blue dress, and he gets a, I'm not sure what colors yet, striped hat. Uh, and the story is deliciously twisted, and it, like, made me incredibly anxious, and I loved it. And so, Chris, you, sir, have a gift, the words. But it's called Midnight Meeting, and it looks like this. And it's beautiful. And um, I stitched so slow that I don't know why I say it. And I worked on this because, no, I didn't. I started it. And I'm doing mine with black DMC. But then I'm trying to use fancy floss. And I have this red that I was going to use, which is pomegranate and schoolhouse red, which are from Gentle Arts. And... I don't know why I hold up colors. I can't stand when people do it because I can't see them, but I do it to you too, so sorry. Um, caramel corn and picket fence for the house because I just loved how those look together. And then my harvest moon and butternut squash for the windows and moon, respectively. Um, and so... I was planning to do the reds because I love the red of the roof. And so the house will probably still be red because I really like the reds. But he has a red hat, kind of like the, the um, Dr. Zeus hair, Dr. Seuss, Dr. Zeus. And she has a red dress. So one part of me wants to make her dress blue and one part of me wants to do this exactly as I see it. So I'm going to modify it maybe because I go back and forth because I love it um I stole my son's safety scissors that was kind of me huh and I just started 
and I started in the, the cool twisty tree. And I'm not kidding you guys, like I have like nothing done. But I started in the corner. I have a little bit of the twisty tree done. My fabric is picture this plus dapple, 16 count, because 16 count is my count. And it's just like a really delicious grayish fog. Um, but I love it. And then these, Kellyanne introduced me to these. I don't know what these are called, but I really like them. They're just uh, the spring pops in and out pretty easily. So yeah, so there's that. So that needs to, does it go in here? Nope, that is on here already. So that's not a new start. That was last weekend's new start. Turn the melt. That's last weekend's new start. So it's already on there. Um, I decided it's September. I'm not even trying to worry about my whips. It's a start month. Because I just need to kind of reinfuse my craft and so work on things I love. And I'm putting them back in the bag. Sorry if it's crinkly, but if I don't, it won't. And I don't really want to get in the habit of having to spread in here. Um, I and then... Nope. I don't have a picture of it. Fudge. Oh, sorry. I do have a picture of it. My bad. The next thing I started. Nope. Okay. So, DMC does a floss card that you like open up and it's a digital print of all the colors, or you can buy one that's um, samples of the actual threads. And those are really cool. And um, one is 12 bucks and one is 50 bucks, right? And I'm rounding up and I'm probably not even close. And one is cheap, one is not. So, I have the cheap one and I have a hard time using it to figure out which colors are which other than as a digital, it might be a reddish pink. Um, and so rather than buy the expensive one, since I'm a completionist and I'm trying to get a full complete set of DMC, I decided to make my own. And I've seen a whole bunch on the internet. Um, but there's a book I really like. It's a little booklet. And I just thought it would be a cool thing to have. And then someday, you know, great grandkids going through boxes would be like, whoa, great grandma was weird. What do you think this was for? And you speculate. Um, we did it with my grandma's belongings. We did it with my great grandma's belongings. Um, it's what kids do, right? You go treasure hunting and you find these cool things. So in my mind, my great grandchildren are going to find this book and think it's the neatest thing. But. Uh, Janet Delicious Threads helped me figure it out from like a thousand photographs I sent her one night. And so I'm doing the DMC hearts just because I think they're cute. So I'm just doing little tiny hearts. Um, my minder is was given to me by Jen when we had a meetup. And what I did is I went on Yarn Tree. You know who that is. Um, but I went on Yarn Tree and I printed the DMC color card. And it has the numbers on it. And then what I do is I pull the threads, mark the threads. And then as I stitch the hearts, I X them out. And then I'm using a card from the Frosted Pumpkins. And there's 10 holes here and there's 10 holes here. So I lay out the colors I'm on. And then I, colors I've left, right? And I'm actually doing it like this right now because I'm only down to five. And so I moved to the side so it's a tighter. These are the crows. They're insane this morning. I mean, it is fall. It is their season. But they've been going since like, I want to say I started hearing them around five. I was up pretty early today. And they're just out there. There's a ton of crows. Um... Crow's one of my favorite characters in Native American um, 
lore. He is a trickster and he is very clever and he's kind of sneaky. And I love crows, but people are sleeping. They're loud today. And I love that a group of crows is called a murder. Yep, a murder of crows. I think that's cool. Anyways, sorry, tangent. I'm definitely going to edit that out. Maybe. I don't know. I might need it. Just because I don't see and I don't want to edit. Sorry, guys. So you clip it. You have your colors you're working on, your colors you have left, and then you just... And then I'm not saving the extra floss. I'm throwing it away. Because I don't want to try and keep track of it. Because I'm lazy. It's five strands. What am I going to do with it? Small part of me was going to... I have another friend who's doing this. So maybe I'll just pack it up and send it to her. And she can have the dread already. Hoping she'll send me the colors I'm missing, so we'll figure it out. But yeah, and that just stays like that. And then I have a little grime guard that I don't even know where it came from. I knitting geisha, maybe? I think that's who I bought this one from. But I'm not positive, so. Sorry, it's just hearts. It seemed appropriate for my heart project. What else did I work on? Oh, my last new start. Oh, somebody else wanted me to show you his new start. So, I don't have a picture of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chris and Kay have a new pattern. It's a skeleton family. Have you seen it? Tell me you've seen it because I'm not going to go look for it. Anyways. Started the skeleton mama. So that's his new Halloween start. And his stuff just stays in a zippy. And so Chris and Kay coming soon. That's his new start. Last new start. I'm almost done, guys, I promise. I know it's a lot. Sorry. Do you ever discover things as they're almost half over? Or three quarters over? Story of my life. So imagine my surprise when there's a new stitch along and I discovered it only two clues behind. So this is called the Prickly But Cute Stitch Along and it's from Rachel at Fuzzy Fox Designs. And it is a succulent library. So this is her first installment and they're like two bucks each. It's really, really inexpensive and they're super cute. There's the next installment. And I'm using something out of my stash. It's Crystal Heritage 14 Count. And I've done the first one. I'm working on her pot. Her name is Astrid. I haven't done any of the back stitch yet. Um, so I'm going to finish her pot today. And then I want to get his pot planted today. Like I want to get his pot established. And then I think I'm going to focus and get the frame done. Because I like to have frames done before I start stitch alongs. But I felt like if I didn't start right away, I would never start. So, and that's the last thing that's already on here. So then my new starts. So I'm doing a stitch along with Delicious Threads Jen and Bendy Stitchy Michelle. And I own the pattern. Um, I made a photocopy for myself, so nobody beat me up. I can prove I bought it. And I saw this stitched up when I went to the meetup at Needle and Haystack in Alameda with the local Northern California girls and um, absolutely fell in love with it and then down the rabbit hole of floss tube saw somebody had done it was sure it wasn't mischievous stitches Lori positive no way it was Lori why would it be Lori it's not Lori's aesthetic it was Lori um I'm doing mine on picture this plus haunted 16 count go figure I'm using Fancy Floss, same as Bendy Stitchy Michelle. I actually asked her to pick up the same colors she's doing for me. And so my beautiful package from her came, and I'm hoping to get started today. I'm doing the sale in Baby's Breath, and hers is super, super, super variegated. And so I was speaking with her yesterday, and she indicated that if I did a loop start and if I did um, rose, which is what I prefer, 
mine won't be quite so variegated. So I think I'm going to try that to make it a little less um, splotchy because um, I'm not sure if I like that aesthetic or not. And you can't see it, but there's the gloss. It's pretty. Um, probably more than I need to spend on this, but I like the fancy gloss. So that'll happen today. So that's two projects I plan to work on today. And that's all I need, right? I can't do anything else. What am I going to do? And then last night, yesterday, McKenna. I'm looking at you. Oops, sorry. I'm looking at you. Someone tell me pointing is rude, and so I've really been trying not to point because do you ever notice your kids do what you do? And I'm a pointer, so I'm trying not to point. Um, where was I reading that? It doesn't matter. Probably one of those, like, ten things you didn't know about etiquette on Facebook. So, McKenna. Seriously? Seriously. Okay, first of all, guys, the designer's name is Busby Designs. I call my husband Busby. I always have. That's his name to me. I mean, it's a pet name. His real name is not Buzz. So we call him. I said we like I'm two people. It's what I call him. And some of my friends, because I talk about him, so they call him that. So the designer's Busby Designs. My husband is Busby. My husband's favorite essential oil is called Thieves. Um, Young Living is the brand that I sell. Thieves Essential Oil. It is a blend of like clove and I don't know. It smells like fall. I do know. I'm not my brain. Water before coffee. Whose idea was that? You want to know? Just a second. Okay, I'm back. Okay, make this very clear. This is not a Young Living commercial. I'm not trying to sell it to you. I'm just telling you my favorites. Okay? I won't even put a link. I promise. Girl Scouts honor. Yes, I was a Girl Scout. All the way through my gold award. Promise. Not going to sell it to you. So I like Young Living Oil. I like it because I've tried them all and we find this to be the most concentrated and there's personal reasons why we use essential oils and you really want to know, track me down and message me directly. It's not going on plastic, it's personal. So, Thieves is clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary, okay? So Thieves looks like this and the story goes that they're, oh, it's right on the bottle, I'm an idiot. Story goes, people robbing bodies in the plague, um, and they used this combination of thieves oil, and it's what prevented them from getting the plague so that they were able to pillage and loot and do bad stuff. Um, so what we do in this house is we mix thieves and orange, and we put these together in the diffuser, and I love the scent of these two together, and my husband loves thieves. So we have the dish soap, we have the hand sanitizer, we have the wipe down spray, he loves this stuff. So this is what we use for cleaning. And then orange because I'm a citrus girl. The other one I use just because they're here is Christmas Spirit. Christmas Spirit is another one of my favorites, but I actually mix it with purification, which gives me a really crisp, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like a Christmas tree smell because you get like the eucalyptus -y smell from purification. And then you get the Christmas Spirit smell, which is very... Um, clovey and warm. It smells warm. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm a terrible salesperson. I'm not trying to sell it to you, but I mix in the fall. In the spring, I do citrus. So orange, lemon, lemongrass, things like that. Really fresh scents. But in the fall, I like really cozy scents. So I mix orange and thieves and I mix purification with Christmas spirit. Essential oils are not cheap. These are a priority for our family. That's why we buy them. I diffuse for scent using Scentsy. I use essential oils for therapeutic reasons. So if you want more information, feel free to reach out. This is not a sales pitch, but Thieves, there's a point. So Thieves is all about the plant, right? And Max, my husband, thinks that's the coolest. I don't know why, it just amuses him. He loves history, and so he finds things like that really interesting. 
So plague doctors are not doctors. Plague doctors were people who basically were hired to bring good, need, comfort to those suffering from the plague because no one else was willing. So I'm sure there were some physicians in there. There were people that wanted to establish themselves. I could Google it, I think, that, um, and things like that. So it's interesting, right? So what's interesting about a thieves doctor, or I'm sorry, a plague doctor, is they have this beak. And in this beak, they had cloves and herbs and things that made the putrid smell not putrid. Okay, I'm sure it still smelled putrid, but it helped to break the smell. Kind of like when you wear a mask, they say if you put um, Vicks on the inside, it will help you breathe cleaner air. Um, same concept, right? So I'm going to do this for him. And by do this for him, I mean someday I might finish this. But my intent is to start it in because it's something that would interest him. And I, because he likes this oil, I thought they went really cool together. Um, it's a trippy pattern. And my understanding is it's crazy confetti heavy. And I've never done confetti, so I'm probably going to cry. But I'm actually hoping to start with right here and going and doing the whole ring. Because if I can establish the whole ring, in my mind, that'll make the middle not that bad. I didn't say I was logical. I said that's how my brain works. I have all the colors. The chart was $5. It's a new designer. Um, I think it's going to be really funny when he wakes up and he goes, why did my pattern? Oh, it's a dude, which I think is kind of cool. Why is my pattern suddenly selling? This thing's been in my shop forever. Nobody's ever seen it before. So McKenna, you have once again done that thing where you start a craze. I got a piece of picture this plus that I hate. It was awful. It's not the color I wanted. It didn't line up. Blah, blah, blah. Ada dies differently. We've all heard that. But happenstance, it's perfect for this project. The color is Meyer, which is supposed to be like a greenish purple. This is not greenish purple. It's green. But this is where my plague doctor is going to go because, like I said, happy accident. So, plague doctor is going on that. So, that will also go in here. So, that's three new starts. And then a little bit of haul. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to start them or wait. But I bought another Lindy Stitches pattern because I love it. It's Remember How We Fell in Love So Sweet. And it's the two little bunnies. Um, our initials are H&M, which I think is fun. And so I bought that to make for us. And oh, I just thought it was cute. And she sends the fabric and the threads. And there's always a personal note. And she sends little strawberry candies like my grandma used to have in a basket. And Lindy, you're adorable. Also, I know your name is Stephanie, but in my mind, your name is Lindy. And then I bought a Nemu pattern, and um, we talked about birds in my last my last video because I was sitting in the backyard. I started in the backyard today, but someone's out there with his bandsaw. He must be building something really cool because I swear to goodness, 7 a.m. and the bandsaw is going. But I've been a birder my whole life, and so I wanted to just show you guys a couple things. So, fun fact, here's my childhood bird book. Um, it's very simple. And then when I saw the bird, I'd exit. It became my son's. He chose to use flags because he's mimicking what I do. Um, and it's interesting because at the back, they have a scorecard. And based on the scorecard, you earn points for what you've seen. So it just makes a game out of it, right? So there's that. And it's just a Birds of Northern California spotter guide. It's for children. It's just a cute, simple little book. So I had this as a kid, and then I had grown-up bird books, which I couldn't find it anything. That was on the shelf. Um, my mom sent these to my son. These are the Sibley Backyard Birding Flashcards. And I believe Amanda shared these on her Hay Pork Chop blog. But they're super cute. There's not a whole lot to them. So it has the bird in um, two poses, usually a male and a female, or an adult and a juvenile. 
and then um, just some basic facts, where you're going to find them, what time of year you're going to find them, what, they're, what they look like, what their habitat looks like. And then um, there's a voice component on each of these. So it says a Canadian goose, and for voice it says flock chorus, a resonant musical honking sound, voice of smaller subspecies slightly higher. So we all know what Canadian geese sound like if you're from here because they fly over at the big B and you hear them like crazy. But if you don't know them, it's just a cool little, and these aren't expensive. I think they sell them online. I want to say it's like 15 bucks. Sibley is our favorite. We are a Sibley family. My mom was a Sibley. My mom actually went to college and studied ornithology. I don't know if it was a hobby or a degree, but has some um, eclectic knowledge on it. And so I grew up birding with my parents camping. So the Sibley flashcards, we have those in our house. And I buy them for people's kids all the time because I think they're great. And then as an adult, once we were married, I got my own grown-up Sibley. And I actually like to buy used books on Amazon. And this I liked because it was a library discard. Um, because usually that means that there's a card catalog envelope at the back. And so that is where I keep the list of, we have a local bird preserve here. And so that's where I keep the list of what they expect you to find or be able to see there. Um, and then I just highlight once I've seen them there. And then my bird book is my actual life list. And life list is a birding concept of you make a running list of every bird you've ever seen everywhere. And so I have a written life list, which includes books of my, or birds of my childhood, which is this, the flamingos, and I just have handwritten in here what I've seen. Um, but then as an adult, and by adult I mean the last five years, because I started doing this with my son, I started flagging when I see birds, which is kind of fun. And then every year we make a three birds we want to see this year. So my 2016 birding goal, because my 2017 birding goal is in my car and I didn't want to go get it, is birds I've never seen. My son's coming up, so I'm going to have to wrap up. But northern flicker, a belted kingfisher, fisher, and a black-crowned night heron. So I have since seen a northern flicker, and I have since seen a black-crowned night heron. And technically, I guess I have seen a belted kingfisher. But I've never seen a kingfisher head on. I've seen them out of the corner of my eye. I've seen them in silhouette. I've seen them. I've been able to ID them and then they're gone before I can get a picture. And so to me, haven't quite seen. But I love the birds. They're beautiful. And so Nemu, they're the French designer of cross stitch that I absolutely adore, has this chart. And it is a fairy on a belted kingfisher. And I just love it. And they have such distinctive markings. And so I just adore it. It's so beautiful. And so yeah, I don't know. I just think it's pretty. And so that's what I have. And that will be my last start of September. And this start will only happen if I get through a few other things because as much as I want to start all the things, I also don't want to give myself a heart attack. But, isn't she pretty? That's all I got for you guys. Um, nope. Yep, that's all I got. I have one more project. I think you've seen I finished the stitching, but I haven't added the beads. Oh, I have it in a Frida makeup bag. McKenna, they have them on Amazon. Um, and McKenna, I have something to send you that somebody gave me. It's a print of the Luther Burbank Frida painting. Luther Burbank's from Sonoma County. Um, I just need to get an envelope and get it to you. So we'll chat about that offline. Anyways, stitching is done on my uh, Monarch. Just need to add beads. I've just needed to add beads for a while. Beads intimidate me. So stitching is done. That's as far as I am. So that's all I got for you guys. Um, Still Cali Q everywhere. Q A L L I E Q. Instagram Ravelry, Twitter, Facebook.
Facebook. Happy stitching.